standard 7 English I need you chapter number 4 the ashes that made trees bloom You tap for India? Yeah. We the ashes that made trees bloom. Many years ago, there lived an old Japanese couple who were rice farmers and had a pet dog. They loved the dog like a baby and the dog loved them back with all its heart. The rice farmer was kind to all living things and fed the birds on his farm. One day, the old farmer was working in his rice fields. The dog bored the rice farmer, trying to draw his attention to a particular spot. The rice farmer followed the dog to the spot the dog started digging at the earth with its paws. The rice farmer dug his hoe in the ground and found a glittering pile of gold. The rice farmer and his wife invited their friends to a feast to celebrate their new wealth and pampered the dog. Now, a wicked couple also lived in the same village. When they heard about the gold, they decided to get the dog to find a treasure for them. They dragged the frightened dog to their house and tried to feed him, but he refused to eat. When they took him outside, the dog began digging under a pine tree. The old couple began digging quickly, hoping to find buried treasure. Instead, they found a dead kitten buried in the ground. They were so angry with the dog that they killed him. Then they buried the dog in the hole near the pine tree. The dog's owner wept and mourned the death of his dear dog. That night, the dog appeared in the old rice farmer's dream. He told the rice farmer to cut down the pine tree and make a bowl and a hand mill from its wood. The next morning, the farmer cut down the tree and used the pine wood to make a bowl and hand mill. The old farmer couple decided to make some rice pastry and bean sauce for New Year. The old man began mashing some boiled rice in the pine wood bowl. After a while, the lump of crushed rice turned into gold coins. Then, the old woman decided to grind the boiled beans using the pine wood hand mill. Every drop of bean sauce turned into gold. The rice farmer and his wife were rich once again. The jealous neighbors borrowed the pine wood bowl and the hand mill from the old rice farmer. They began crushing rice in the pine wood bowl. The mashed rice turned into a stinking heap of worms. Angrily, they chopped up the wooden hammer to use as firewood. After some days, the dog's spirit appeared in the old farmer's dreams again. He told the old man that his neighbors had burned the pine tree bowl and mill. The dog instructed the rice farmer to sprinkle the ashes of the pine tree on dead trees to make them bloom. The rice farmer requested the wicked couple to give him some of the ashes of the burned hand mill. The wicked couple angrily allowed him to do so. The rice farmer went home and sprinkled a pinch of the ashes on his barren cherry tree. Immediately, 
The cherry tree had beautiful and fragrant pink flowers. One day, the landlord was passing by the rice farmer's village. The rice farmer did not kneel down on the road to show reverence to the landlord as was the custom. Instead, he climbed up a dried cherry tree. Just as the landlord's royal cart approached, the rice farmer sprinkled some ashes on the dried cherry tree. The tree blossomed immediately. The landlord was very happy. He thanked the rice farmer and gave him many gifts. Again, the greedy neighbor decided to imitate the old man. He collected some ashes from his fireplace. One day, another landlord's procession was passing by on the highway. The wicked man climbed a dried cherry tree. He threw some ashes on the tree, but nothing happened. Instead, the landlord and his wife began to sneeze and cough. The landlord's soldier bet the wicked man to death. The old rice farmer lived happily for long years with his wife. Got today's stories? Yes, sir. Okay, let's start ready. The ashes that made trees bloom. In the good old days of Demios, uh, 19th century landhold, uh, landowner in Japan. There lived an old couple whose only pet was a little dog. And we cut pet to a dog. Having no children, they loved it as though it were a baby. Jarti baby is a terti and a palina motu karudu satiru. The old dam made it a cushion. Dam means landowner. And cushion banayu a blue crap and at a meal time muco for that was its name and a muco nama pelu would sit on it as snug and snug as any cat. Snug means comfortable. Write down. Snug means comfortable. The kind people fed the pet with uh, tidbits of fish from their own chopstick. Nimna putana bhojan mati khavda vene fish na pieces and all the boiled rice it wanted. Thus treated, the dumb creature loved its protectors like a being with a soul. The old man, being a rice farmer, went daily with hoe and spade into field. Emily Potani, a hoe and a spade line, field majai, working hard from morning until O Tento Sama, as the sun is called, had gone down behind the hills. Just the sun dropped na thai jai. They worked from morning till evening. Every day the dog followed him to work, never once harming the white heron that walked in the footstep. Of the old man to pick up the worms, for the old fellow was patient and kind to everything that had life. It is a farmer right rice farmer ekdam patient though and often turn up a sword on purpose on purpose that is intentionally to give food to the birds bada birds ne feed kare itle dayalu manas to je bada sathe ek sarko vyavhar kare one day the dog came running to him putting his paws against his legs ele gesture karu ene movement 
એના પગ આગળ આવીને એને ખેંચે એન્ડ મોશનિંગ વિથ હિઝ હેર ટુ સમ સ્પોટ બિહાઇન્ડ એને કોઈ જગ્યાએ ખેંચીને લઈ જવાનો ટ્રાય કરે છે ડોગ ધ ઓલ્ડ મેન એટ ફર્સ્ટ થોટ ઇઝ પેટ વોઝ ઓનલી પ્લેઇંગ એન્ડ ડીડ નોટ માઇન્ડ ઇટ એને પહેલા એવું લાગ્યું કે આ તો રમી રહ્યો છે કઈ નથી કરતો બટ ધ ડોગ કેપ્ટ ઓન વિનિંગ એન્ડ રનિંગ ટુ એન્ડ ફ્રો ફોર સમ મિનિટ્સ then the old man followed the dog a few yards to a place where the animal began living scratching thinking it was possible buried bone or a bit of fish emne lagyu ke koi bone hase ke fish old man struck his hoe in the earth then lo a pile of gold gleam before him ek sona ni tappi athwa gold coins ena hath ma aya gleamed etle stone glittered stone glim means glittered thus in an hour the old couple were made rich the good soul bought a piece of land e loko ek zameen kharidi made a feast for their friends એમના ફ્રેન્ડ્સને જમવા બોલાયા એન્ડ ગેવ પ્લેન્ટીફુલ ટુ ધેર પુઅર નેબર્સ એઝ ફોર ડોગ ધે પેટેડ હિમ ટીલ ધે નિયરલી સ્મુધર્ડ હિમ વિથ કાઇન્ડનેસ એના ડોગને સરસ રીતે પેટ કર્યું એમણે નાવ ઇન ધ સેમ વિલેજ ધેર લીવ અ વિકેડ ઓલ્ડ મેન એન્ડ હિઝ વાઈફ એક લુચ્ચો માણસ રહેતો હતો કંજુસ લુચ્ચો નોટ અ બીટ સેન્સિટિવ એન્ડ કાઇન્ડ સજ્જે સેન્સિટિવ કે કાઇન્ડ નહોતો હુ હેડ ઓલવેઝ કિક્ડ એન્ડ સ્કોલ્ડેડ ઓલ ડોગ્સ વેન એવર એની પાસ ધેર હાઉસ કોઈ બી કૂતરો એના ઘર આગળથી પાસ થાય એટલે એને લાત મારે એને જોર જોરથી ધમકાવે અવાજ કરે ભગાડે રાઈટ હિયરિંગ ઓફ ધેર નેબર્સ ગુડ લક ધે કોક્સ ધ ડોગ ઇન ટુ ધેર ગાર્ડન પર્સ્યુડેડ કોક્સ મીન્સ પર્સ્યુડેડ એને લઈ ગયા એના ગાર્ડનમાં એન્ડ ડોગ ઇન ટુ ધેર ગાર્ડન એન્ડ સેટ બી ફોર હિમ બીટ્સ ઓફ ફિશ એન્ડ અધર ડેન્ટીસ એને ફિશ ખવડાવી કે ભાઈ અમને બી ખજાનો શોધી આપે હોપિંગ હી વુડ ફાઇન્ડ ટ્રેઝર ફોર થેમ બટ ધ ડોગ બિહાઇન્ડ બીંગ અફ્રેડ ઓફ ક્રુઅલ પેર વુડ નાઇધર ઇટ નોર મૂવ ધેન ધે ડ્રેક હિમ આઉટ ઓફ ડોર્સ એટલે એને ઉઠાઈને પેલા લોકોએ બહાર ફેંકી દીધો ટેકિંગ અ સ્પેડ એન્ડ હો વિથ ધેમ No sooner had the dog got near a pine tree growing in the garden than he began to paw and at that scratching karvanu chalu kar di to paw and scratch the ground as if a mighty treasure lay beneath ki jahan koi khazana chupayelo hase quick wife ha- hand me the spade and hoe any wife ne ki do lai lai jaldi mane spade up cried the greedy old fool as he danced with joy because they go yahan dikh ek mal se ave mane then the cavitious old fellow cavitious that is greedy cavitious means greedy with a spade and the old crone with a hoe began to dig but there was nothing but a dead kitten એને ખોદ્યું પણ ત્યાં તો એક મારેલું બિલાડીનું બચ્ચું મળ્યું સ્મેલ ઓફ વિચ મેડ ધેમ ડ્રોપ ધેર ટૂલ્સ એન્ડ શટ ધેર નોઝ એમને ટૂલ્સ મૂકી દીધા અને નાક બંધ કરી દીધું વાસ આવતી હતી ફ્યુરિયસ એટ ધ ડોગ કુતરા પર ગુસ્સે થઈ ગયા ધોલ મેન કિક એન્ડ બીટ હિમ ટુ ડેથ એને લાતો મારી જ્યાં સુધી મરી ના જાય ત્યાં સુધી એને માર્યા કર્યું ધોલ મેન ફિનિશ ધ વર્ક બાય બાય નિયર બાય ચોપિંગ ઓફ હિઝ હેડ વિથ ધ શાર્પ હો they then flung him into the hole and hit the earth over his carcass and when you and at the fnai didu zameen ma ane upar cover kari lidu the owner of the dog heard of death of his pet and mourning for him e dukhi thai gyo mourn means dukhi thai jao shok shok ma jato ra as if he had been his own child went at night under the pine tree he set up some bamboo tubes in the ground and jagar jagar mari gayo to any bamboo stick muki 
यानी कबर बनाई सच एज आर यूज बिफोर टॉम्स इन विच ही पुट फ्रेश फ्लावर त्या गड़ाई ने सरस सरस फ्लावर मुके देन ही लेड अ कप ऑफ वॉटर एंड अ ट्रे ऑफ फूड ऑन द ग्रेव पानी मुक्य ग्रेव फूड मुक्य एंड बर्न सेवरल कॉस्टली स्टीक्स ऑफ इंसेंस अगरबत्ती करी त्या आगे एना हिम ऑन अ ग्रेट वाइल ओवर हिज पेट कॉलिंग हिम मेनी डियर नेम्स एज इफ ही वेर अलाइव एने बोलाय जोर जोर थी रड़ता रड़ता जे नाम थी एने बोलाव तो देट नाइट द स्पीरिट ऑफ डॉग एपीयर टू हिम इन अ ड्रीम सपना मै कूतरा नु स्पीरिट आयु एंड से कट डाउन द पाइन ट्री ओवर मै ग्रेव त्या आगे जो पाइन ट्री है कट कर ले एंड मेक फ्रॉम इट अ मोटर फॉर योर राइस पेस्ट्री तारी राइस पेस्ट्री मैं एक मोटर बनाई दे मशीन एंड मील फॉर योर बीन सोस so the old man chopped down the tree and cut out of the middle of the trunk a section about 2 feet long with great labor partly by fire partly by chisel he scraped out a hollow place as big as a small bowl he then made a long handled hammer of wood such as is used for pounding rice When New Year's time drew near, he wished to make some rice pastry. And a rice pastry was made. When the rice was all boiled, Granny put it into the mortar. Old man lifted his hammer to pound the mass into dough. The blows fell heavy. And fast till. fast till the pastry was all ready for baking suddenly the whole mass turned into a heap of gold coins ema the gold coins akho daglo thai gyo when the old woman took the hand mill and fill it with the beans began to grind the gold dropped like rain sonu varaswa mari meanwhile the and we as neighbor peeped in at the window when the boiled beans were being ground is it like baju the boiled beans na ke etla gold par tu jaye goody me cried the old hag as she saw each dripping of sauce turning into yellow gold jetlo sauce par to jaye etlo gold tha tu jaye until in a few minutes the tub under the mill was full of shining mass of gold so the old couple were rich again the next day the stingy and wicked neighbor came and borrowed the mortar and magic mill they filled one with boiled rice and the other with beans then the old man began to pound and the woman to grind but at the first blow and turn the pastry and sauce turned into a fall mass of worms still more angry at this they chopped the mill into pieces and a kai niklu nahi andar thi jivda nikla bada worms ele ne todi nakhi and to uh, use as a firewood ag lagadi di di now not along after that the good old man dream again fari sapnu aayu and the spirit of dog spoke to him telling him how the wicked people had burned the mill made from the pine tree ke bila loko ek kevi rite tane tane je me mill api banavano kidu thi akhi sal gai di thi all fired take the ashes of the mill sprinkle them on the withered tree eni rakh laiya je mill ni ane ene je tree che te agar nakhi de they will bloom again said the dog spirit they fari khili jase the old man awoke and went at once to his wicked neighbor's house where he found the miserable old pair 
sitting at the ledge of their square fireplace. Ni agar bethe la ta fireplace agar. In the middle of the floor, smoking and spinning. From time to time, they warm their hands and feet with the blaze from some bits of meal. While behind them lay a pile of broken pieces. Emni paacha broken pieces pade la. The old good old man humbly ask for the ashes. If we come karo na, we tomar kai kam ni na di. A rakh mana api do badi ashes. Though the cavity is couple turn up their nose at him and scolded him. As if he were a thief, जाने चोर होए, they let him fill his basket with the ashes and आके बदी रखा पी दी थी. On coming home, old man took his wife into the garden. It being winter, their favorite cherry tree was bare. He sprinkled a pinch of ash on it. हमने हमारी चप्पी ऐस ना की. And lo, it sprouted blossoms until it become a cloud of pink blooms which perfumed the air then it was just smell our mari the news of this filled the village and everyone ran out to see the wonder the cavities couple also heard the story and be sambli and gathering up the remaining ashes of meal kept them to make with the withered trees blossom the kind old man hearing that his lord the daimo daimyo was to pass along the high road near the village set out to see him taking his basket of ashes as the train approached itle ni je palkhi ai he climbed up into an old withered cherry tree that stood by the wayside Now, in the days of Daimios, it was the custom when their lord passed by for all the loyal people to shut up their high window. They even pasted them fast with a slip of paper, so as not to commit the impertinence of looking down on his lordship. Well, pass that is compulsory. Everyone has to pass paper pass. Correct, be aware. So, our lord has to come. So, he has to be on the high window. All the people along the road would fall upon their hands and knees and remain prostrate until the procession passed by. Just the aku any palki pass na thei jai. Just the bade jukela revan. The train drew near. One tall, competent man marched ahead, crying out to the people, "By the way, get down on your knees. Get down on your knees. Juki jao, juki jao." And everyone kneeled down. while the procession procession was passing suddenly the leader of the one caught sight of the aged man up in the tree he was about to call out to him in an angry tone gussa ma pelo keva je rahe to but seeing he was such an old fellow he pretended not to notice him and passed him by so when the emios palanquin palanquin means palki royal cart royal cart drew near old man taking a pinch of ashes from his basket scattered it over the tree and a tree per fell like this in a moment it burst into a blossom suddenly the smell smell thing the delighted daimyos ordered the train to be stopped and got out to see the wonder calling the old man to him he thanked him and ordered presents of silk robes sponge cakes fans and other reward to be given him he even invited him to his castle ane ana melma bola so the old man went gleefully home to share his joy with his dear old wife but when the greedy neighbor heard of it he took some of the magic ashes and went out on the highway ene lai li di ane tya highway par gayo there he waited until a daimyo's train came along and instead of kneeling down like the crowd he climbed a withered cherry tree when the daimyo himself was almost directly under him he threw a handful of ash over the tree which did not change a particle ena ma koi pher par na thayo wind blew and the fine dust in the uh, in the noses and eyes of the daimyo and his wife 
क्लियर क्लियर और नॉट क्लियर और नॉट यस हा नाउ द पोएट्री शिवी Let's see the video. Shivi. In this poem, the poet describes a child's views on being continuously nagged by adults. It is annoying when adults scold children for everything they do and say. Adults often tell children to speak up and to not talk with their mouths full. They scold children for staring, for pointing fingers at others, and for picking their noses in public. Adults demand that children sit up. They expect children to say please and to make less noise when they are having fun. Adults remind children to shut the door when they walk out of a room. Children are scolded for dragging their feet while walking. For sneezing without a hanky. and for standing about with their hands in their pockets adults constantly nag children to pull their socks up and stand straight when children try to participate in a conversation they are told not to interrupt they are scolded till they take their elbows off the dining table After all the nagging on what children must do and must not do, adults expect children to take decisions independently. Mintra and the reason say. Okay, let's start reading. Ask yourself as well as your partner: Do you like to be always told? What to do and not to do. तुमने कहा मैं जे मम्मी कम always के आ करवानू ने आ नहीं करवानू अबे मोटर थे क्यों जे अबे ना नो थे क्यों जे. Grown up says things like speak up, don't talk with your mouth full. कहीं बोलता ना जी मैंने बोली है तो क्या बहु बोल बोल करे जे don't talk with your mouth full. मोटा माँ हुआ जा रे बोलवानू नहीं don't stare ताकि ताकि ने जोवानू नहीं don't point. Don't pick your nose. Sit up. Say please. Less noise. 
शट द डोर बिहाइंड यू दरवाजो बंद कर डोंट ड्रैग योर फीट टांगो बच्चे ना लाइस शांति दी बाजू में बैस हैवेंट यू गॉट अ हैंकी हैंकी नजी रख तो टेक योर हैंड्स आउट ऑफ योर पॉकेट इस समय हाथ बार काट पुल योर सॉक्स अप स्टैंड अप स्ट्रेट से थैंक यू ऑलवेज अपने मैनर्स सिखवाड़े डोंट इंटरप्ट बच्चे टप्टप ना कर नो वन थिंग्स यू आर फनी टेक योर एल्बो ऑफ द टेबल तारी कोनी टेबल ऊपर दी ले ले कांट यू मेक योर ओन माइंड अप अबाउट एनीथिंग આપણે મગજ દોડાઈએ તો વાપરવાના દેને પછી છેલ્લે આવું કે તારું મગજ દોડાઈને તો કંઈક કર ભગવાને સેના માટે આપ્યું છે મૂકી રાખવા ધીઝ ઇઝ આવ એવરી વન બિહેવ્સ ટુ ધ ચિલ્ડ્રન્સ રાઈટ ઓર ગ્રોન અપ બિહેવ્સ વિથ ધ ચિલ્ડ્રન રાઈટ ક્લિયર યસ સર ગુડ 